This is the business cycle in super simplified graph form. First thing I'm going to do is do our y and x axis. The y axis is going to have GDP, which is typically how um, the business cycle is usually measured. So you can see like what's the expansion and the um, depression and whatnot. And then our x axis is going to be time. All right, and I'm gonna do a growth trend line in purple. Let's go. So the first thing you see our graph doing is uh, rising in GDP over time. And so what that is called is an expansion. And this is usually from the period of time from either a couple years to a whole decade. The next thing you see our graph doing is peaking at a point and then going down. And so this point right here is called a peak. And it's important to know that a peak is not a period of time, it's like a moment uh, then an expansion and um, recession, those are periods of time. So this is like a day, like June 10th, GDP peaked and then went down. Next thing you see our graph doing is going down and this is going to be a recession. And so for it to be classified as a recession, it has to be two consecutive periods of time, which means a minimum of six months of declining GDP. All right, the next thing you see our graph doing is going below our starting GDP and um, continuing to decline. And so this is called a depression. And a depression is a pretty intense period of economic strain, unemployment, declining GDP that lasts over a course of several years. All right. Now you see at the bottom, our graph goes to another point and then goes back up. This is called a trough, and this is the lowest point of the depression. And good news, it is going back up. This is called a recovery, which is pretty easy to remember. Recovery. This is um, when the GDP continues to go up, and then you have our cycle all over again. Once it gets above here, it will be an expansion. There you go. This is, disclaimer, just super simple terms, but I hope it helps.